I mean, that, that kind of size. And uh, you leave it. Now, shape. if your teeth are in really good shape, you can use it right away. But if you're kind of worried about the teeth being able to handle this, just leave it in there for a couple of weeks and let it soften up a bit. Because mm -hmm. it'll soften up. And what you do for 10 days in a row, you have a half a cup of the, 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 the mixture as it is. You don't cook it, nothing. You have it as it is. And you have to chew it. So you like chew a teaspoonful at a time? A quarter of a cup and you just chew it a mouthful. You put a quarter a of a cup of that in your mouth? No, or you eat a little at a quarter time. of a cup. And you okay. chew it a mouthful at a time. <laughs> and it might take you half an hour to eat breakfast. Yeah. And then you follow that with a cup of half mugwort, half bunch of tea, kukicha. Mm -hmm. You get some dried mugwort from your local bookstore, there's a couple here. Also Karnak. Yeah. And that is your breakfast for 10 days in a row. Mm -hmm. And you have your normal macrobiotic lunch and you have your normal macrobiotic dinner. Mm -hmm. And then you repeat that whole procedure, that 10 days, twice more with an interval of 10 days in between. So you do it three times, 10 days each time, and 10 days between the Number one and number two and number two and number three. So ten take, on, ten off, ten on, ten off. So it's fifty days. So it's roughly two months. And that gets rid of every known parasite to humanity. Because now how does it work? Because all the parasites relative to the human organism are more young. So and they're attracted to a yin environment in our bodies. So we create the environment that is suitable for the, the, uh, the, the seeding, how do you use the word seeding, because bacteria and viruses and worms and whatnot are in our environment, they're just everywhere. They're on our skin, they're in the air, they're in the water, you know, they're just everywhere. So, um, they get in. And then if there's a suitable soil for them to germinate and flourish, they will definitely do that. And that is an internally a yin environment from too much yin foods and acidity, over acidity, because yin causes more acid con condition of the tissues and bo the body and tissue fluids. They all want yin. They all they love yin because what excess yin does eventually is that it causes the uh, because there's fat and there's you know mucus buildup and there's uh, sugar and all this stuff and it causes the cells to become degraded and they start to break down and when they break down they are pathogenic. And when they are pathogenic, that's what microorganisms do. They go in and clean up decaying matter. That's what they do. That's their job, so to speak, of other, 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 other functions. So, when we make this concoction, we create a really young remedy. Because... We have small grains, small beans, hard grains, hard beans, and even smaller sesame seeds that are also hard. And then we youngize them in an iron skillet by heating them in an iron skillet. So they become very young. And then on top of that, we have to chew them. Because we can't eat it without chewing them thoroughly. You have to probably chew at least a hundred times per mouthful. And saliva is the most young substance in the body. So when this stuff gets in there, all these bacteria and virus and worms and whatnot, they just freak out. They either die on the spot or they leave. And they come out in the form of diarrhea. Now, have you done this, Cora? Yeah. Is it, have you noticed mm -hmm. a big difference? Gigantic. 
Have you tried it, Michael? Yeah, you know, I did. I so the first couple of years, I didn't do it the first two years in my practice. And I did ginger compresses in the diet. And, uh, you know, I felt good. My bowel movements were really nice and feeling really good. And then Cora told me about this thing, so I did it. And I did it for the period of time. And I could tell you, suddenly my bowel movements got really ugly. Whoa. Like really ugly Old for that stuff coming period out. of time. Whoa. Yeah. So I knew something was clearing out. Mm -hmm. Well, I, think I, had, I had a similar experience, but not, well, not actually not similar at all. But I didn't do the, the candy the crunch until I got to Boston. And I'd already been there for about three and a half years. Now, in my case, when I did the ginger compress, a lot of that stuff came out because I had bowel movements that were like black tar for three days straight, you know, like shiny black tar. Wow. And all that stuff came out. And but I, but uh, and I and I didn't find out about it until I got to Boston. I was studying at the KI, and um, how's the world? Well, you know, you probably. I don't think I have any parasites, but you don't know. Mm -hmm. And the one thing is that I still had this feeling of like a little bit of heaviness here. It wasn't pronounced, but it was there. Wow. So I did it, and I did it just for seven days, and it was like, I couldn't believe it. I didn't see any worms or nothing coming out or whatever, but this heaviness just totally disappeared, and everything became light. So if you just do it for seven days, you don't do the ten days on, ten days on? No, days on. no, you've got to do that. That's my, that's what I would, I just did it off my, you know, off my cuff, so to speak. But I created this particular thing because I think it takes that amount of time to do it. And if you've never done it, which most people in macrobiotics haven't, and I also don't recommend you do it, at least you've been doing macrobiotics at least two years. You don't do it at all until then. And you've done your ginger compresses and whatnot. Then you do the, the anti-parasite remedy. How do you do it if you don't have any teeth? Well, then you have to basically sit down there and you have to Come create to saliva and just sit there and do it. Or have a very close person to you chew it for you and then you swallow it. <laughs> oh, right. that's, that's Seriously. Your mother. Really? Oh, yeah. It's an acrobiotic remedy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You for can ask your mother. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. another possibility. You can do that. Because, I mean, we used to chew our food. My food. mother, I mean, my wife used to chew the kids' food and give it to them yeah. when they were mm -hmm. after they what started getting onto solid food. At least your Silverstone just got a lot of slack for doing that yeah. recently. It's well, the best way to pulverize food to make it digestible for somebody that's very, very sick. She did it for her son. Well, it's a very it loving a Silverstone thing anyway. to do. Oh, yeah, what a nice actress, good thing to do for, for a mother to do. Diet. I don't, you know who, she so actually didn't simplicity. write that book. You know who wrote that book? Jessica Porter. She yes. wrote the foreword to it, but... No, she what? actually wrote the book. What book? The Olivia, kind of, Alicia, kind of diet? Uh, uh, oh, oh. Silverstone's book. You Who wrote that? it? Yeah. That Hollywood actress. Jessica yeah. wrote it. Yeah. Jessica wrote it? Mm -hmm. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I found that out of the health classic. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why would you wait two years before doing it? Because you got, it's like because you don't... You, you want to get your intestines as sorted out as you possibly can. Mm -hmm by doing the ginger compress, and I recommend two rounds of ginger compress, one a year for the first two years, and then you do it. That's why. I do the ginger cycle? compress hmm? every day. What's a round? What is the cycle of the I do the ginger treatments. compress every day. Yeah, per round. round. Is it two a day every other day? No, two, two a week. Two oh, a week. no, but you don't do the ginger compress. So it might take, oh, yeah. well, you could do it every single night. I, I do it on my intestines, and then I do it on my kidneys. Every single night? For how long have you been doing that? long time. So two to four times a week, I recommend. Until you get to 64. And then, yeah, and it's it doesn't actually, nice. the fact of the matter, it doesn't it's matter whether it's you it's do it in the, you know, four divided by, 64 divided by four, which is 16, because, or two, because which is 32 weeks, weeks that might, please, Linda, I'm talking. <laughs> Boy, everybody else has been talking.